Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. And verse 11, Exodus 15, verse 11. We sing it in hymns, we sing it in our praise worship songs, but a few people have taken out time to look at the revelation that is in this verse. Let's read it together. One to read. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? You are glorious in holiness, you are fearful in praises doing not did wonders doing doing is something you have not stopped you've made up your mind to continue doing it doing who is like unto you some people did wonders before but they died and it stopped it says you are not only glorious in holiness you are not only fearful in praises that you are doing wonders one last scripture acts chapter 5 and verse 12 to 16 Acts chapter 5 and verse 12 to 16. Acts chapter 5 and verse 12 to 16. Want to read? And by the hand of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all in one accord in Solomon's porch. We're reading to verse 16. And of the rest does no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. And believers were the more added to the Lord. Uh huh. And laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing. The last verse. Bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits. And they were healed. How many? Everyone. The sign is not the healing. The sign is everyone. The healing was not commonplace. But this dimension that every single one comes with a challenge. And every single one returns. This one. Is more than a healing it is a sign it is a message are we together now write this down what are signs and wonders very quickly just to give us um, a little foundation signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations of God's power really they are they are miracle signs and wonders supernatural manifestations of God's power by which God demonstrates his ability to save to deliver to preserve and to prosper his people I'll take it again signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations of God's power 
by which he God demonstrates his ability to save to deliver to preserve and to prosper his people manifestations of God's power that are statements they demonstrate his ability they validate his ability to save to heal to preserve to prosper his people another definition signs and wonders are tokens or representations of the omnipotence of God signs and wonders are tokens a token is a representation they are representations of the omnipotence the almightiness all powerfulness of God they are manifestations of God's power they are tokens or representations of his omnipotence now all through scripture when you read down from Genesis to Revelations you see that the Bible is full of the strange acts of God signs and wonders mighty works of God right from Genesis down to Revelations the Bible is full of God doing mighty things in and among his people and through his people to the earth the subject of signs and wonders is not a subject that should be strange to believers because Christianity in itself was founded upon this mystery of signs and wonders hallelujah I missed one more definition let me add to you if you care signs and wonders are pointers to a dimension of God that he wants the world and the saints to experience signs and wonders are pointers to a dimension of God that he wants the world and the saints to experience they are pointers to a dimension of God that he wants the world and the saints to experience very very powerful like I said earlier on the Bible is full of signs and wonders the way God made man in Genesis the way God made the plants the mystery that happened in Laban's house with Jacob Joshua commanding the Sun to stand still the walls of Jericho the parting of the Red Sea the parting of the Jordan all kinds of miracles that happen in the Bible the miraculous outstretched arm of God to restore the economy of a nation overnight mighty things the Bible records that God did in his people and through his people there are two Greek words that I want us to just work with very quickly the Bible is an interplay of a lot of Greek words and in the New Testament particularly there are two Greek words that are translated signs and wonders the first is the word semion s-e-m-e-i-o-n 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 it literally means a sign an evidence of a divine commission the word semion is a Greek word it means an evidence of a divine commission an attestation of a divine message the word semion that is translated sign refers to miracles by which God authenticates the men sent by him and the missions directed by him give us Acts chapter 16 and verse 17 to 18 we find an expression there Jesus himself was speaking about the church Acts chapter 16 verse 17 and 18 oh, did I say Acts? I'm sorry Mark Mark 16 I beg your pardon Mark 16 wonders miracles by which God authenticates men and missions not just men 
the man can be sent by God but the assignment he's embarking on is not by God so God would defend the man and leave the assignment alone it matters that both the man and mission are sent by God he says and this sign shall follow them that believe and these signs and these signs and these signs he would have said and these miracles the signs are miracles but they have messages attached to them and the messages have to be discerned they are pointers he says this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues 18 they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover the bible says these things are not just miracles they are signs they authenticate among other things that god is with that individual are we together now a man can fake some of them but whoever has all of them working in him is a validation there are aspects of these signs that cannot be faked you see let me tell you something with satan the operation of Satan is such that he can take part of a truth and use it to destroy. But the test is the ability to convey the whole counsel of God, not part of it. Are we together now? When Satan came and met Eve, what he said was not entirely a lie. It was truth that was aberrated. When he came and met Jesus, it was not a lie. But there was a motif behind it an attempt to destroy jesus so he says when you see all these signs happen to an individual you can fake tongues you can fake healing the sick but when a viper beats you you see that one that that one is not you can't pretend that one you can act drama praying in tongues you can't act drama of snake biting you and then nothing happens and you see the serpent is talking about here is first physical then prophetic are we together yes first physical he says that i give you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions not a little scorpion you don't need all that to kill a scorpion and carry a shoe and kill it but he's talking about scorpion wicked demonic entities that plague the lives of people per second are we together it is possible these are the same mysteries that the psalmist said they are arrows that fly by day that a man can be moving and something can make contact with your spirit man but there is an immunity that have been built like Paul. They looked at him. They said, you have sinned against the gods. Let's watch. After a while, when they saw nothing, they said, this guy, you are, not, you are a god. You are not normal. That's a sign. There is a message conveyed in it. That there are bodies that are terrestrial. But there are also other bodies that are celestial. And that even among the stars, one differed from another in glory. signs the second word is a word that is called terata t-e-a-r-t-a t-e-a-r-t-a that's the word that is translated wonders terata t-e-a-r-t-a is a word that the bible translates in english in the new testament as wonders and let me tell you what it means it literally means wonder causing events wonder causing events no wonder bishop Oedeko, um, um, says wonder is what makes you wonder it really is the meaning that's the definition wonder causing events events that are so notable your pride cannot stand it you know there are things that happen and people assume i've seen this one before a wonder is what will compel you to react and respond over that situation there is a way God blesses you that you claim, oh God, I just give you thanks casually. You've done this before. Just like it came yesterday. But there is a way God blesses you that you become too grateful to keep quiet. Is that true? Wonder causing events that produce astonishment in the beholder. 
wonder-causing events that produce astonishment in the believer. Mark chapter 5 and verse 40 to 42. Please give it to us. Mark chapter 5 and verse 40 to 42. Wonder-causing events that cause astonishment. And they laughed at him to scorn. This is Jesus about to walk not just a miracle, but a wonder. The Bible says they laughed at him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taken the father and the mother of the damsel that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying. We are reading to 42. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha kumi, which being interpreted, damsel, I say unto you, arise. 42. And straightway, the damsel arose. Remember, they were laughing before that time. And walked, and she was of the age of 12 years, and they were all astonished. Some versions say with great wonder. They were astonished with a great astonishment. A wonder was released in heaven, and the Bible says there was silence for 30 minutes because of the gravity and the magnitude. There are things that God is going to be doing in our lives, brothers and sisters, that people will come and stand here and not be able to testify. And, and listen, nobody will drive them because the silence is the testimony. That someone will stand and say, I, I have always known God would do this, but not in this dimension. When God wants to give you a wonder, he waits till your enemies gather. He won't do it in their absence. He allows them to gather. And while they are talking and say Jesus died, they see the resurrected Jesus. They are talking about his death and he has risen. No blood in his body but still walking. Wonder. Are we together? It's not his being alive. He's being alive without blood. Say wonder. He said touch me. Bring bread, let me eat. But the Bible said the life of the flesh is in the blood. So how are you living? What are you breathing? Do you have lungs? He said, I'm giving you another life. As my father has sent me, that there is a possibility that you are immune to certain things. If Jesus did it in heaven, we'll understand. In this territory. I believe the word of God. Oh. Wonder events wonder god has already done great things koinonia is a family that we have seen humbling dimensions of his wonder but brothers and sisters you are not ready for what god is about to do believe me you are not ready for what god is about to do we have seen god gather crowds without posters it's not publicity it's a wonder it's a wonder there is no single hand bill there is no single poster to put in your car it's a mystery, my brother. I have read church history. I have read revivals. Men are not idiots. There is a force that draws them. We have seen the wonders of God. 71,000 followers on Facebook not being on air. One with no video released. It's a wonder. The message is going everywhere regardless of people. Having self-appointed evangelists running around these messages. They have never been here. But they move from nation to nation. It's not a miracle. It's a wonder. There are statements in them. I am the God who can do as I please. Are we together? Wonder causing events that produce astonishment. Astonishment. Mark chapter 7, verse 37. Let's hurry up. Mark chapter 7 and verse 37. Mark 7, 37. The Bible says, And they were beyond measure astonished, saying, He had done all things well. How many things? Let me tell you. When every area of your life goes well, it's a wonder. Because it's not supposed to be the story of people. Naaman's situation is how men live. There must be something in their life that has a K-leg. 
but my God is saying in this season there's something I'm, I'm leaving the ones I have touched and saying where is the area in your life that mocks me I want to make a statement in your life they said he had done all things well he maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak he has done all things well done all things well oh we are wealthy but no child when the god of wonders shows up look at what the prophet said when the prophet was speaking to the shunammite woman he said watch what is wrong i know the ones that are right let's let's focus on where there is an issue do you want me to talk to the governor? He said, no, no, I live among my people and the servant discerned. He said, this woman is a great woman. However, there is an issue in her life. And the prophet said, by this time, according to the time of life, I program a possibility in your life that you will carry a child. The God of wonders, not just the God of miracles. If you don't believe the God of wonders, get said to be part of this weeping holocaust that is humbling the pride of people. There is a God of wonders. There is a God of wonders. Let me tell you, science will fail men in this season. The theories that have been built for decades that attempt to compete with God will bring people to their knees. But there are people that God will arise on their case. And you will say, I, I've always known God can bless. That what God will do in your life will make somebody come and apologize. And say, I, I am sorry, I didn't believe in you. Let me confess. I, it's, I, I know you were part of Koinonia, but if they told me this, what God will do in your life, I won't believe it. He said, I will walk a walk in your days. That if you were told, you will not believe. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me borrow the words of Bishop David Oyedepo. God is changing people's levels in a way and a dimension that will surprise you. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's not a lie. This is what God can do. What is the purpose of signs and wonders? Why do we need them? So much so that God would declare that a whole year is dedicated to experiencing that dimension of him. What is the purpose of signs and wonders? I want you to know that signs and wonders have a specific purpose in kingdom advancement. There is a role that only signs and wonders can play in kingdom advance. A few of them. Number one, to believers and to unbelievers, I'm going to tell you now. To those who believe, who already know that Jesus is alive and they have tasted of his power and his unfailing love, signs and wonders become to them a consolation of their faith in God. Are we together? The purpose of signs and wonders. There are many preachers that mock believers for looking for signs and wonders. And they say believers should be the proof producers. I agree. But the fact that you are a proof producer does not mean you should not be a benefactor. No matter what dimension you get to in God, God still remains a God of signs and wonders to those whose hearts are open. There needs to be a consolation to your Christian experience. They kept seeing the miracles of Jesus in the nation of Israel. And I thought he would say, I've shown you enough. But every time, the Bible says his messes are new every morning. Why wouldn't he say, think about yesterday's own? Signs and wonders, consolations to my faith. That I believed God. I trusted him to move in this dimension. And he arose in majesty. And made a name for himself through my life. That's a sign and a wonder. The signs and wonders are produced on earth by God through believers. But they are not just for unbelievers. Believers also, like the, the husbandman being the first partaker, believers are not only producers of signs and wonders, they are also benefactors of the same. To unbelievers... What is the purpose of signs and wonders? It is the physical expression 
of God's power, God's love, and God's goodness, creating convictions in them and ultimately leading them to Jesus. I'll take it again. To unbelievers, what is the purpose of signs and wonders? It is the physical expression of God's power, love, and goodness creating convictions in them and ultimately leading them to Jesus. Unbelievers need a manifestation of signs and wonders from and by God through believers, first in their lives and then through them to affect unbelievers. Why? Because they need to be convicted and they need to come to Jesus. Now, please look up. Signs and wonders in themselves do not produce transformation. Only the word of God in partnership with the Holy Spirit can produce conviction. Because when you read in the Gospels, they saw all kinds of miracles. Yet, when Jesus resurrected, the Bible says some doubted, even among his disciples. They saw the dead rise. They multiplied loaves. Some of them were the ones who packed the bread, yet they ran away. So signs and wonders in themselves. Now, this is the balance. Signs and wonders in themselves do not produce transformation. If all a believer sees is signs and wonders, you get a job, you get a new promotion, God opens up a door for you. You step into unusual levels of the anointing as powerful as that is. There are people that will still not be transformed by it. However, however, signs and wonders support your journey to creating convictions. When you watch signs and wonders at work, they probe your convictions. And all the insult in the name of God, an insult of the body of Christ, all of a sudden signs and wonders bring you to a point as a believer where your convictions are strengthened and as an unbeliever creates in you the need to surrender your heart to Jesus. Write this down. All manifestations of signs and wonders must lead to the harvest of souls and the establishment of men and women in the things of God. All manifestations of signs and wonders, genuine manifestations of signs and wonders, they must lead people, it must lead to a harvest of souls and it must establish people in Christ. No matter what happens in your life, if it does not lead to these two things, then it is profitless. The message behind signs and wonders is that they are, it's a system of attraction much more than a statement God is making through it. He's drawing the lost to himself and he's keeping the saints to be established in him. Hallelujah. When people go to a harbor list, number one, they are not committed to the harbor list. They go there to see signs. They sit down and say, Mr. Man, I have a problem. Do something for me. And all of a sudden, a chicken appears from the air and he holds it and keeps it down. What do we call that? That's not a discussion, it's a sign. And by that sign, the two people were discussing whether they made a mistake coming to this harbor list. And all of a sudden, by that manifestation, they find grounds to convince themselves that we're in the right place. Is that true? So when someone comes for koinonia, and while he's hearing the word, He's wondering, well, I've had this thing before. Is this what is going to give us all of this thing? What is all this? And all of a sudden, while he's talking, a vision is open for him. And he's seeing his barren wife with twins. He keeps quiet by himself and he says, continue the statement. He said, no, I saw something that has challenged me. It's amazing that when believers gather like this, you would think everybody believes what you believe until God grants you access to their minds. There are people who, before they come for koinonia, they tell God certain things and say, Lord, you better give me a sign. I've been, I've, I've hated every man of God and 
I hope that I won't hate this one too. And while they are sitting down, right from opening prayer, fire on the mountain. Some, the sign is that they find themselves on the floor. Huh? What happened? They get up and they are trying to be arrogant and then it happens again. Then it happens the third time. Then they give up and lie down there. And God says, this is holy ground. They get up quietly. Now, it's not that God wants to just throw people. It's that to that person, it happened before his unbelieving father or mother. And then the guy goes back. The next time he sees people falling around, he says, don't insult everybody. There are exceptions. God is still mighty. He can make it happen. I remember, I think we were in Joss. Maybe this was 2016 or thereabout. When Joss, I was ministering in one of the polytechnics. And while I was ministering, you know, the power of God, people were getting healed, getting saved, getting delivered. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me and said, there are a number of people here who are doubting if this thing is really working. And those people themselves are not feeling fine. So I want to heal them now. You see, that's no longer a miracle. That is a sign. And then the Lord said, announce it first before I heal them. And I said, there are people here who are doubting this thing. And it may not be your fault. You came from a background where it's a norm to doubt everything that is supernatural. And the Lord is healing you now. And there was a gentleman who got healed. I can't remember what he got healed from. Very spectacular miracle. And then when he came to the front, he said, honestly, honestly, let me confess. If not that this thing has happened to me now. I will go back believing that these men play, you know, games and all of that. Signs. Signs. It's, it's good to clap for somebody, but when it, the miracle comes to your own house, it, be, it said that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. This is the dimension I'm trusting that God will take us to because some of the things we teach it has not happened to some of us so you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it when we say favor you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it the anointing you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it but when it happens through your hands or to your life you don't care who doesn't believe you again it's a conviction Signs and wonders are important because according to scriptures, I wrote down a few things here. They have always been God's strategy and instrument of deliverance from oppression and slavery. Every time God's people are in any kind of oppression or slavery, the instruments that God uses to bring the people out of it. It's called signs and wonders. One of our texts, Jeremiah 32, from verse 21 to 22, it says, Thou broughtest them out of Egypt by signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are instruments of deliverance. Number two, signs and wonders are validations to the power of the might and the lordship of Jesus Christ. Signs and wonders are validations to the power, the might, and the lordship of Jesus Christ. Give us Acts chapter 2, verse 22 and verse 36. Let's look at it quickly. Acts chapter 2, verse 22 and verse 36. Thank you, Jesus. Ye men of Israel... Hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God. By what? Help me, read on. A man approved of God by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves know. So, Jesus, a man approved of God. Signs, wonders, miracles, verse 36. It says, therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made that same Jesus that was approved with signs and wonders, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. 
Signs and wonders validate the lordship of Christ. They validate the lordship of Christ. The Bible says, listen carefully. It says that the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink. It doesn't mean you don't eat and drink in God's kingdom. But it's not in meat and drink. But in righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Is that true? And then, oh, I, I'm not sure that's a scripture. I, um, what's the scripture? The demonstration, thank you. The demonstration of quotes that scripture for me. That your faith will not be in the wisdom of men. Many of you don't know how to quote scriptures. You are looking at me and hoping those in front will help you quote it. You better learn scriptures. <laughs> See how clueless some people are. I don't even, I don't have an idea of, I just know that Jesus is Lord. That's bad. That's bad for a believer. Don't, don't do that kind of lesser fair Christianity. Whilst it is not the quoting of the scripture that releases power, but it gives the Holy Spirit the tools with which to walk in you. Hallelujah. Yes. No, the, the kingdom of God is not in words, but in power. Demonstration of power. Oh, that's it. God bless you. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power. And then it says that your faith, am I right? That's, yes, should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Let me tell you something. There's too much talk in the body of Christ. There needs to be validations of these claims. Otherwise, a time will come when they will just classify us as noisemakers. Noisemakers. That we say God can heal, God can bless, God can prosper. Elijah called the people up to Mount Carmel and said, look, look, we've been talking for a very long time. The God that answers by fire, let him be God. Very simple. If Baal be God, let him prove himself. If the God of heaven be God, let him prove himself. You start. And the people gathered round and danced and caught themselves till evening. And Elijah mocked them. He said, shout loud, I'm sure he's sleeping. And when it was time, he brought 12 stones and put water and did all of that and called on heaven. And God came. The Bible says the fire came, licked the sacrifice, licked the water and everything. And it was demonstrated as a sign in Israel that the God of heaven was and is God indeed. There are people we need to silence not by argument and debate, but by a strange manifestation of the hand of God in our life. That someone looks at you and says, all these koinonia people is because you are jobless. Then God gives you a job that is the prayer point of someone for 10 years. And you become committed with it. And God says, it's not because they are jobless. It's because they love me. Are we together? Are you ready for these dimensions of God this year? Three keys to commanding signs and wonders. This is very important. This is where your, your own role comes in. There must be a part that shows you your own contribution. Three keys. Number one, the first key, if you want to truly experience and command signs and wonders, is intimacy with God. The first key, non-negotiable intimacy with God. Through prayers, through the study of the word, and through worship. Listen, during my retreat, the Lord spoke to me and said that believers must restore the altar of worship. We have restored the altar of prayer, but we have not restored the altar of personal worship. Very few believers understand the mystery and the power of prayer. And we preachers are the ones who have caused it. We have made it look like if you are praying and I'm worshipping and I can't hear any noise from your own end, you are wasting God's time. So we, we pride ourselves in the dissipation of energy for a long time to mean that that is necessarily a sign of making spiritual contact. No, sir. The ministry of 
personal worship. In church, we praise God. In church, we worship God. But most people have been robbed of the revelation of intimacy through worship. There is intimacy through prayer. There is intimacy through encounter with the word. But there is intimacy through worship. There is no one man on earth that works mightily under the influence of the anointing that does not understand the mystery of the altar of worship. intimacy with God. Please hear me. God is not a magician. This is the year you must engage in being close to God. This Christianity of today I am close to God, tomorrow I'm not serious with God and you say God is not, you know that I don't have a job. You must make up your mind this year that Lord it is me and you not just me and your power alone. Intimacy with God. There are people who have been in church, maybe some koinonia, for years. They don't know God. They don't know anything about God. Where are you going? At a go church. And when you finish, where are you coming from? From service. Say, you mean you're a worker in that church? Yeah, so we join, honestly, at least. They do have small, small. That statement is an ungodly statement. This is the year you will bury that statement in the name of Jesus Christ. The average believer, listen to me, the average believer should be on fire for God. Not for the purpose of ministry, for your own good. Let me tell you the truth. The deeper and thicker the darkness, the more you must define where you stand with God. There is no vagueness. No. You know, they have this sarcasm towards believers that... The more we are outspoken about our love for God, the more we fail in life. Is that true? So this becomes the basis for being ashamed. When they are talking of poor people, they say, this is this poor guy who loves God. When they are talking about certain... So many of us don't want to show our zeal and passion. We love God. But when you come where there are other people, you just say, ah, yeah, I don't overdo. God knows I do my thing. Even God knows that. And then we find all kinds of scriptures in the Bible that says, don't know, be over righteous. And say, prove this. That, some of those things are, are proofs of people who don't want to know God. Is that true? If I come to Pastor Alpha's house, listen, there are certain rooms in that house I will never have access to until I get to a depth of relationship that qualifies me to enter there. Is that true? I may sit in the parlor there forever, but there are times that I may know him and we may want to discuss something very secret. How many of you have seen parents or loved ones or some of you, when you want to discuss some serious issues, you just, out of five people, you call only one. And then the person enters and you, even in the bedroom, you sit at the side that... The window is outside and you are discussing critical matters. The secret things of the Lord is with them that fear him. It's not just being afraid. Priority. Please let me drum it, brothers and sisters, that if you want to experience signs and wonders that will last, you must work on your relationship with Jesus Christ. I don't doubt that many of us are born again. But I don't see the priority of the kingdom. When you are intimate with God, it will show. You've not, you read your Bible Friday to Friday. You are not intimate with God. Don't say it does not matter. Prayer until you hear something on your zinc. Then you stand up. Play one koinonia message. Altar of prayer. And back it up with one fearful tongues for 10 minutes. And lie down. You are not walking in faith. He spake a parable, Luke 18 verse 1, to the end that men ought always, always, always to pray. Listen, this year, I know the kind of people Satan is looking for. Lukewarm and careless Christians to, to take like a prey and destroy their lives. Take it from me. Do you know, the Lord gave me a revelation during my retreat that surprised me. He said, son, 
there are many people I wanted to bless but that they, their prayer life cannot sustain the attack that will come on account of that level of blessing so I help them by withholding it listen this is true that there are sat every dimension of glory comes with a dimension of attack and much more than your gift God looks at your spiritual life if I give this guy 10 million naira and the spirits that eat up people comes does he have the capacity to sustain it it's not the issue of God give me God give me the Bible says God will never allow any temptation to be greater than us and part of the way is withholding certain blessings when God told me that thing I started praying for myself first I said only God knows what dimension I would have entered that God withheld because my spiritual life had not gotten to that level listen if you are lukewarm be sure of experiencing triumph and remaining there alone but if it is signs and wonders please upgrade your passion upgrade your zest for God not come to the house of God today come two months later when there is problem no no the first price are we blessed intimacy with God genuine intimacy create a routine of prayer create a routine of studying the word create a routine of worship those of you that God has blessed with televisions turn them into preachers not entertainment platforms am I am I against watching films you, you know my position I'm, I don't I'm not against it you can watch your movie whether Western or Nigerian or whatever but let me tell you the truth if you really want to press for signs and wonders you better get a flash drive and put messages and worship songs slot it at the back of your TV that sometimes you can be in your room or your house or wherever and let that sound of worship just arise you are you are creating a climate for God this is the price for signs and wonders hallelujah if in your group of friends you are the most spiritual it's a sign something is wrong with you because the day your spiritual life is down and you have no one to pick you are you hearing what I'm saying listen especially for those of us in ministry this year schedule a strong backup system a strong backup system that while you preach and dispense the word of God there must be a system not just during retreat not just during retreat it must be a daily system that replenishes you otherwise you may not make the journey in the level of strength that you want is God speaking to us intimacy with God does intimacy with God pay my goodness <laughs> my goodness Acts chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for money. There are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for power. There are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for fame. No, sir. Anything his presence cannot give you is not available. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter, listen, and John, and perceived that they were unlearned, and ignorant men they marveled because ignorant and unlearned people should not be commanding that kind of result it says and they took knowledge of them what was their secret that they had been with that's the secret to their boldness they said it's true we didn't have the opportunity to be educated we cannot brag on education but I have been with him listen when you truly are with him it will show in your life you don't have to say see me no there is an aura there is a fragrance that his presence carries may you carry that presence this year listen i can know in a second that a man is intimate with god it's not by prayer it's not by having a husky voice there is a presence like a perfume it's a signature of the secret place 
I can hear you speak and I know that this is not your revelation. You just read something online and you are preaching. I can hear you speak and I know that mm -mm, this guy, you may even work miracles. But brothers and sisters, covet presence, covet presence, covet presence. Has nothing to do with being a preacher. Covet the presence of God. Consuming fire, sweet perfume. His awesome presence fills my life. Consuming fire, sweet perfume. Your awesome presence fills this place. You are transacting business. But there is such a presence. A man has been oppressed, cannot sleep in the night. But because you carry a heavy dimension of the presence, that person will walk away and lie down and find out that that night he slept with no oppression. You didn't pray. You introduced an atmosphere. Covert presence. As a man of God, you don't carry presence. You are not a preacher. You are not a preacher. A preacher is not just one who announces. A preacher is one who brings his climate, his atmosphere into a place. Are we together? Please, let me tell you this. Take it from me. If you want God to use you, please, I can beg you, don't give up the presence of God for anything in your life. Don't give up the presence of God. Not for money, not for titles. Pray and say, Lord, grant me the grace to be addicted to your presence. Lift your voice and pray. One minute. Lord, I want to be addicted to your presence. It's where I find strength. It's where I find courage. <laughs> your presence my place of refuge my place of ideas that's where I receive inspiration that's where I experience the ministry of the comforter in your presence that's where I receive strength that's where I receive strategies hallelujah some of the ideas you see by God's grace that we run this ministry with came in the secret place the presence listen let me teach you something about having time with God take this in mind there are times learn to be alone some of us our lives are too busy to know God learn to walk around in your room alone you know the way you are talking with somebody I do that a lot I'm just walking and talking Lord you know the other day we we're talking about this thank you Jesus I can be walking like that for hours I'm not necessarily praying like generating energy there are times for that but this is a love affair I'm talking with God thank you Jesus and sometimes that mighty presence comes sometimes I cannot even stand it is the effulgence of that presence that we bring to the stage there are many presenceless preachers presenceless prayer coordinators revelation hackers who pack revelation after revelation couple it together and hope that it will give power god is not a herbalist please look seek his presence without god's presence what do i have to offer you because you see it's not everything you teach people that will be new it is the presence that makes it fresh presence you want signs and wonders in your life? Please make out time for God's presence. I want you to identify the things that represent distractions in your life and deal with them this year. They may not be bad, but they are weights. Some of us is noise making. Noise making is what has evicted the presence of God in your life. Talkativeness. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Take that time to the secret place. Some of us need to coordinate our mornings properly. Some of us is careless time. 
you are a young man you wake up 11 o'clock every day you won't know god my brother you have missed a rich pie of the day to know god many of us never practice personal vigils you can do church vigils and claim to a personal when you are alone with god the excellency and the richness and the freshness of power that is gotten in his presence you are there spending time with god and god is winning battles for you you finish from that presence and come out and you meet testimonies lined up like an assembly testimony after testimony many of us don't know how to win battles when men insult you you have nowhere to run to create similitudes of altars not by building monuments but find exact locations i've taught you the law of consistency don't meet with god just anywhere you wouldn't know him that way no god is obsessed with location carve out a place that becomes your place with you and god if you don't have access to a house or a room why don't you find a location somewhere Let's, let's be honest with ourselves and be serious and make this thing work this year. Seek his face. And the effulgence of his glory will rub off on you. And my brother, my sister, your life will be a compendium of signs and wonders. Number two. The second key to commanding signs and wonders is faith 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 what is faith conviction plus obedience faith is not conviction alone that's believing faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and what his word has said you want to experience signs and wonders you must believe God this year John 11 verse 40 John 11 and verse 40 John 11 and verse 40 signs and wonders let's read it together one to read Jesus said unto her uh -huh, say it I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou should see the glory of God the glory of God are for those who believe God you must work on your conviction. The foundation of Bible faith is understanding. It is understanding that creates conviction. You need faith to command signs and wonders. You need to believe in God. Listen, listen, look at me. Many believers don't get miracles in their lives because we live in a society where cynicism sells, where doubt sells. Is that true? We are always thinking, what if it's a lie? What if it never happened? What if this person were lying? You better come to a point this way where you believe that everything God says he would do, he will do. Is that true? So if we say God is going to bless Sam, come Sam. That God is going to bless you. It's up to you to choose to believe it. Or just say amen. And then go back after koinonia and talk as if you don't know Jesus Christ. Is that not what people do after service? They jump and shout, and you see them praying. Then they start laughing at themselves when they are going back home, as if they were acting. Bros, I saw you praying. As if that prayer is acting. And then the person feels ashamed for being serious with the prayer. Why are we like this? We are in church, we hear the word and we believe it. We get back home and talk rubbish and nonsense ungodly things did you hear that lady's testimony the way i was looking at her eyes i said she was lying what is your business if she was lying release your faith and say it. i can get the truth of that testimony instead of saying it cannot happen i believe god to move this ministry to a new dimension i believe god to move my life to a new dimension the mockers will always bury their head while God keeps performing signs on those who believe. The Bible says, blessed is she that believes. For unto her, not unto them, unto her. This is a personal affair. 
there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken. I believe it. I believe it. That Lord, if you are going to bless me, if you want to lift up my life and change my story, I stand with you believing. Like Abraham, the devil will come in with his rubbish as usual and say, look, I hope you know that there are many people who are being owed salary and arrears. How do you want to build the house this year? And then a scripture fires out of you. They got not the land in possession by their own hands. Neither did their sword save them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You look at yourself. Oh, I'm 40 years. Will any man really like me? And God says, just wait and let me surprise you. And God will bring a brother as if he was charm, and just come and say, Sister, let's go and see your parents. Say, if you are playing, don't play. Say, How can I be playing? Do I look like I'm playing? Let's, let's go and see your parents. And while the rest are laughing at you, in three months, you are settled. And you keep watching their lives. And they say, Ah, this bad girl. And God says, Never call unclean what I have called clean. While you are there talking nonsense, God is lifting people. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, there are people today you are paying their transport that they will be the ones sponsoring people by the end of this year. As young people, I'm not talking of some visions in 10 years. It is unto you in this kingdom, not according to the preacher's words, according to your faith. I believe God. I believe God. I believe you. I believe you. So you have an assignment to build your faith faith does not grow by itself please listen you don't grow just by sitting down you eat correct you eat you don't ask the food which part of my body are you going to don't worry your own is continue having access to the food and you see that you're growing that's how your faith grows listen let me tell you this is the year I want to encourage you avoid naysayers avoid faith killers you finish believing God and you finish three days dry over an issue and you come and meet a brother and he laughs and say, open that in it. Let's look at you. You said you are stupid. This is what you are fasting about and they kill your faith. We have been taught that there are some things God cannot do. Just believe God and then when you perish, we can come and comfort you. But not before. Listen, I want you to enlarge your faith for big things this year. Don't just sit down and say, God, do this. No, Lord, I believe you. I believe you. Work on my faith. I'm ready to keep bringing you the word of God that will keep building your faith. There are so many things we are going to learn this year. But that God will grant us grace to believe it. Hold on, Mike. Listen. Please, I want you, those listening inside, outside, online, let us stop double-mindedness in church this is what i believe we call it church mind i don't know where that thing is, is in bible then after you you come out of church we now have the secular satanic carnal and ungodly mind that has never worked why change your convictions it's better for me to know you don't even believe this aspect. It will help me to encourage you than to join those who you are there, you don't believe it, but you are joining the group of people with convictions. You will find out that you will never get the result. Say, I receive grace to believe God. Say it again, I receive grace to believe God. And the key is to meditate on his word. You don't meditate on newspapers and cynical statements online. You don't meditate on gist. We were having a discussion when I went home to see my parents. Maybe let me just add it a little. And we were discussing um, the need for God to help ladies in saloons. Saloon is one place that is a wonderful place for making hair, but it is uh, it's, it's, a, it's a chamber that can program unbelief. Now, please, with all due respect to hairstylists, I love you. 
please may God bring members to your saloon but let me tell you this let me tell you this let me tell you this listen this is the first service it's too early to be laughing anyhow this is the I'm establishing the word there are many people hmm, who expose themselves to atmospheres that are antichrist that is the real devil you should cast not just the one around in your village that has left sins atmospheres have been creating room for satan must you visit the friends if you don't have anything godly and serious to discuss must you visit them you can send them a text how are you it's been a while just to check up on you god bless you there are people on their way to church someone just holds them back and then they don't come the person has robbed you of an opportunity to learn say i will work on my faith sam if i gave you a property will you take care of the property will you take care of the documents if you saw someone coming to carry the documents what will you do you will stop the person the bible says guard your heart we are guarding land we are guarding gold we are guarding atm look you you guard your atm by getting a card for it you now put it inside a bag and the bible says guard your heart and that's the one you leave it carelessly guard your heart with all diligence we have guarded atm we have guarded land that we came and met and we'll go and leave we have guarded houses we have guarded the little tea and bread that are around and made noise we have guarded cars we built a garage for car and left your heart exposed you see the wisdom of that is of this earth that comes to naught please say i will guard my heart guarding your heart doesn't mean to fight people but to mark people who have a track record of killing your faith they just see you rejoicing they say why the joy so the joy of the lord is my strength say I, i'm a christian too you better be real that thing looks like an emotional sociological statement but the name is is a faith killer statement hallelujah thank you sam number three the last key you want to command signs and wonders this year practice praise and thanksgiving mm. thanksgiving everybody say thanksgiving I am learning many strange things about this dimension of God that is humbling me. With all humility, these are revelations that God has revealed to me, but I am learning in fresh ways the power of praise and the power of thanksgiving and the power of living a thankful life. Thanksgiving and living a thankful life are two different things. Thanksgiving is an event. You can dance in church, carry your handkerchief and not be thankful. I have a special teaching on Thanksgiving. A little teaser to it. Thanksgiving, your communication of thanks must match the blessing given. The goal of Thanksgiving is to, to create an impression in, in the giver that you understand the gravity of the sacrifice involved in giving that gift. There are times that saying thank you is not thanksgiving. It's too small for that kind of result. If I give you 10 naira, you say thank you. I give you 10,000, you say thank you. I give you 100,000, you say thank you. I give you 1 million, you say thank you. I give you 10 million, you say thank you. From 100 naira to 1 million, you are ungrateful. That thank you was only valid for 10 naira you were supposed to make the other givings weightier in your communication of thanks so many people just say god thanks i forgot to tell you the other day look at how you saved me and god said that's the is that the way you cried is that how you cried did you just cry casually you cried as if your life will finish and i opened you a door and look how casual you are Please practice a life, not a moment of thanksgiving. Fill a major portion of your prayer with thanksgiving. Lord, I thank you. Are you not the one who has delivered me from my enemies? 
There are many who would have prayed that I didn't see this year. But Lord, in your presence, you have honored me. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for the other day. I was coming and a bike almost hit my car. I thank you. And God says, you are doing this to me. He said, God, I've not even finished. Wait. He said, what about your needs? He said, God, I know you are faithful. Just allow me thank you. And God says, you don't need to ask again. Your thanksgiving has multiplied your results. Please learn to be thankful. It is something that I have embraced. Thanksgiving. Complaining and murmuring. All through scripture attracted the wrath of God. Not Satan. When people murmured before God, it was a sign of ingratitude. He punished them. God, you gave me bread. Wouldn't I have blue band there? And God would say, you are a wicked servant. I didn't just give you tea. I gave you bread. Just because there's no blue band, you are shouting as if you are, you are hungry. Say, God, will I continue to eat bread like that? Is it not you that said the part of the justice as a shining light? And God says, look at your ungrateful heart. What happens if I give you a bakery? It means you will leave me and say, God, <laughs> this was all what it was about. Now that I have a bakery, it's enough to feed me. Live a thankful life. Don't thank God generally. Be specific. Count your blessing. Name them not ten by ten, one by one. Lord, you gave me five children, no CS. Thank you. How is it such a big thing? Lord, thank you. Lord, it was just day before yesterday. I didn't have food to eat. And today, I even had to fetch two tears and give someone. Because a stranger I did not know just said, you assigned him. Somebody will tell you, God sent me. You won't turn back to the God and say, thank you. You told the messenger, thank you. And God that sent the person, you left him like that. Till you have a need. Say, God, the other day, how did I it escape my mind? And God said, what was there? What was there that it escaped your mind? Thank him. He gives you 10 naira. Say, thank you. Make it a big deal. God will say, all these dances for 10 naira. I said, yes, oh, Lord, I'm dancing. Some of you are dancing not because you are truly grateful. You are dancing because you have been taught it's a key to multiplication. So you really hate God. It's just that you are just doing it. Oh God, where is my daily bread? Apostle say when you dance your way and you are done and God is saying, please stop dancing. Don't make me a fool. I'm not an idol. I'm not a cow somewhere that they lifted up. I am God all by myself. Let your gratitude be genuine. That you say, Lord, I know in this process there is a blessing. But whether or not there is a blessing, I thank you. Say, I will be thankful. Be thankful to God and be thankful to men. Some of us, we close the door of favor by ourselves because of ingratitude. Please take this issue of gratitude seriously. Jesus healed 10 people. He was passing and healed 10 people. He stayed there waiting to see who will come back. The 10 people were healed and they ran away. And one person said, mm -mm. We were supposed to die there unclean. But this one that God has done, this one will return. And he said, were there not ten of you? Where are the others? Take out time. If you can cry for problems, you should take out time to be lavish about Thanksgiving. As a lifestyle, not just when it comes as an instruction here. Praise God and thank him. I leave my life saying thank you Jesus Lord I am grateful not because of what he has done Lord I am grateful thank you for the workers thank you for my life thank you for your word all through this year second chronicles 20 verse 22 you can just write that as the scripture there they began to sing and to thank the Lord and to say for he is good and his mercy endureth forever and God began to set ambushment we have emphasized this that praise is powerful, but it must be from the heart. That's what makes it perfected praise, ordained praise. There is praise that is anointed. It's called perfected praise. There is praise that is rubbish. It's just, it's just selfishness. In one minute while you are seated, can you tell God thank you? Let's just take a minute or two 
to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you entered 2000, you entered 2018 grumbling. Someone died December 31st, but you entered 2018 grumbling as if the power is your own. Abba, let's be grateful. Some of you, you have been grateful but not enough to match the goodness of God in your life. Don't act as if it's a right. Thank you, Jesus. Learn gratitude to God and to men. Be lavish about gratitude. Take note of things that people do for you that you cannot do for yourself. Be very meticulous about it. Say, I'm not that kind of person. Learn it. You will close all kinds of doors being ungrateful. You can earn a living through gratitude. You can literally live off gratitude. Gratitude is a stream of income. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Lord, you gave me a relationship and work out. Thank him. At least he gave you one. At least a guy was able to come into your life. Lord, I thank you. I have not built the house yet, but you gave me land. I thank you. Lord, I have not graduated yet, but at least I am still a student. Thank you. We live in a society of gross ingratitude. Just take a minute and say thank you. How about some of you who have seen the anointing in your life in unusual ways? Two years ago, you were not like this. But look what God has done in your life. Mighty dimensions of revelation. Mighty dimensions of the anointing. Now they invite you everywhere to be a blessing. Men have discerned the hand of God upon your life. It's a reason to say thank you. Don't just say I'm a man of God. Don't just say I'm a woman of God. Don't just say I'm a prayer warrior. How about people that God changed their financial status? No connection, no godfather, no godmother. I'm showing you why many of us do not see the signs of God in our lives. When you thank God, it looks like it's a burden to you. Jesus, thank you. How many graduates thank God? They complain about no job. They run their mouth from morning till night. Oh God, won't you give me a job? Have you ever carried your certificate to put it on the ground and roll over it and say, Lord, thank you. Oh, I wrote jam 10 times. It's, it's, a, it's a dream today that without any sponsor, I'm a graduate. We live in a generation that complains. Lord, I have a church of only 30 members. But you have people who have discerned your grace and they're listening to you. Lord, I don't have a job. Won't you change my story? You've not got a job for one year and you've not begged. Who has been the supplier of that? There are workers who have been on strike. There are workers whose salaries have not been paid for six months. In other states, some one year. Yet God has sustained them. And they don't have any other extra stream of income. It's been the Lord's doing. Make sure it is marvelous in your eyes. Hallelujah. These three keys are the keys that God gave me. That if we will focus on being intimate with him and believe him enough to release our faith and to back it up with a life that is full of praise and thanksgiving, then brothers and sisters, you are ready to see the outstretched arm of God. His strange wonders in the midst of people. There are battles this year that you will not need to fight. Mm -mm. This is, I believe with all my heart that this is one of those years that the Lord will say, uh -uh. This battle is not your own. Allow me. The Egyptians you see today, they are greater than you. You have already done your own battle by worshipping me. Leave me to fight them. That God will take you out of the battlefront and stand there and ask the enemy that has oppressed your family, face me now. You, they may not have the strength in themselves. 
let me give you 11 instructions for this year and then we'll round up please write down these instructions and believe them if you don't have anything to write type it in your phone men prosper in the kingdom on the strength of instructions he says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are life to those who find them men rise in this kingdom through instructions transgressors are violators of instructions number one very quickly in this year 2018 make up your mind to love and seek the Lord passionately instruction number one love and seek the Lord passionately I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God prioritize God in your life this year prioritize God some of you I congratulate you at least you are better than the way you used to be but you need to do more you need to move closer to God pray for me oh as you are going to church no love and seek the Lord passionately number two serve the Lord this year wholeheartedly serve the Lord wholeheartedly you are a worker in this ministry this is the time for you to pour your heart doesn't matter what department you are not a worker in this ministry find a department and commit yourself commit yourself serve the Lord Exodus 23 verse 25 Exodus 23 I'm just running the instructions but I just felt like giving you a scripture of this it says if they obey and serve me if you shall obey and serve the Lord your God he shall do what bless thy bread and ye shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. When you read 26, let's read 26. It says that there shall nothing cast a young nor be buried in the land. The number of your days I will fulfill. Serve God wholeheartedly. Genuinely. Genuinely. Coming to church is not serving God. Walking in the house of God is serving God. Number three, be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus. Be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3. Be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus read it with me one to read and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament uh-huh and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore brothers and sisters your heart must be passionate about bringing people to Jesus bringing people to Jesus is more than just winning souls you are going to church you don't go alone are we together there's someone in your neighborhood after evangelizing to him another person will come while you are talking say somebody has come say it doesn't matter i can continue from where he stopped let your life bring somebody to jesus someone sits down and he tells you I, look at the way my life is i say well uh, there's prayer meeting going on on tuesday once in a while you can go no that's not evangelism that's suggestion evangelism is my brother Jesus Christ is able to help you look at what he made out of my life and you talk to the person and at the end of it you ask the person do you mind that I pray and lead you to Jesus Christ some of you as I'm saying it you are even shocked because you have not said this thing in years it's not part of your dictionary 
a profitable believer is one who brings harvest of souls and establishment of the same. Lead people and drag yourself. You are coming for miracle service. You are coming alone. Your entire loved ones are languishing in, in trouble. Be, be a true evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. You know a woman around your neighborhood, she has been buried. Madam, please, I don't have transport. No problem. I will pay your transport. That's evangelism. Hallelujah. Let's be serious about leading men to Jesus. Can I tell you the truth? All that we do in this life will end one day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Anybody that leaves this earth without, nobody goes to hell for sinning. Everybody goes to hell for rejecting Jesus. That is what takes people to hell. It is not sin that takes people to hell. It is they are rejecting Jesus. The propitiation, the substitute. So don't sit down. Some of us, our wives are not saved. Our husbands are not saved. This is the year to vet everyone's salvation. Start with your household. Don't sit down and say it doesn't matter. When I hear that someone has gone to be with the Lord, the first thing I ask is, did he die in Christ? If he died in Christ, I just say, ah, then the only thing we are going to miss is just the physical fellowship. But brothers and sisters, let me be sincere with you. If you die without Christ, you will never 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 be connected to jesus again as far as the bible reveals to us it matters that we make sure people we give people business deals wonderful we give them jobs i want you to preach you use everything use your looks to preach hello use your credit to preach Use your life. Don't say, me, I'm not a woman of God. I will keep sowing in Koinonia. Please. The urgency, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is gradually fading in the area of conscious evangelism. I know we make altar calls in church, but that personal life, we pray for people, we intercede for people, but we watch people, they are not born again, we don't care. We call it being friendly. Start with those under your roof. Especially for those of us who have any form of influence. Nobody should be under my roof and not serve my God. No, sir. Don't say we don't want to offend anybody. It doesn't mean you just meet somebody, especially a non-Christian, and start harassing them. No. You can start by showing them the love of God. It doesn't have to be one day preaching. Intercede for your loved ones. Many people drop prayer requests here. Car, house, wife, husband. They never write the names of souls. And say, Father, by next miracle service, let this my father meet Jesus. Number four. Remain joyful and thankful. Fourth instruction. Quickly, we have 11 of them. Remain joyful and thankful. This is the year that you should never allow anything kill your joy not bad reports, not anything. Make up your mind to be joyful. Regardless of what happens, remain joyful. Don't allow your joy to be perturbed by circumstances. Remain unbending in your joy. Get up in the morning, you sing praises unto God. Lord, I love you. While you are doing that, immediately you get an alert. The interview went and were sorry to announce to you that you didn't get the job lord is all right i know that this is painful but i thank you the admission list first list came out i even saw in my dream that i got admission now physically there's no admission and then you are you cry because you are a human being jesus wept but in the midst of the cry find a song of merriment number number what be strong in faith. Fifth instruction. Be strong in faith. Reject fear. 
reject fear. Write it. Be strong in faith. Dash. Reject fear. The fear of evil report. The fear of death. The fear of not having a man to marry you. The fear of not having a woman to marry you. Hello? It's amazing how people walk with all these kinds of fear. Brothers, the fear of not being established, reject it. Sisters, the fear of marrying a poor man. Or for some of these nonsense fears that lead people to do demonic things, reject it. The fear of your church remaining at the same level. The fear of being destroyed. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject. I know that all around the nation and around Africa, there are all kinds of upheavals happening. Reject fear. Reject fear. Reject fear. For God has not given me and you the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Please reject fear. Be strong in faith. Number six. This year, 2018, be visionary and focused. Get serious with your life. It's an instruction. Write it down. Be visionary and focused for God's sake. Get serious with your life. Let this be the year that children become adults. Let this be the year that naive people grow up in their minds. Brothers, let this be the year that childishness is replaced with a life of diligence and discipline and maturity. My Bible says, when I was a child, I thought like a child. Many of us have, are still calling ourselves children. Give yourself an orientation this year. I will no longer behave like a child. Brothers, sisters, everybody, behave. Is that true? Especially for those trusting God to settle down this year. Your life must show you are ready. Hello? Hold on, Mike. Your life must show you are what? Ready. Don't call into your life blessings you have not been equipped to receive and maintain. Don't call into your life blessings you are not ready to equip and maintain. Sister, if you are saying 2018 is my year of marital settlement, Please do the needful. Be disciplined. Jumping around comes to an end. Hopping around people's houses to gossip comes to an end. Why? You are preparing to be a good wife. Don't see a child fall and you walk and you are trying to cut work. No, you are acting like a girlfriend. You act like a wife. Correct? Don't worry, we have a series. Oh, I mean, you are in for a buffet this year. Praise the Lord. And our brothers too. Balance. 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 I love God, but I'm suffering. Balance. This is the year we will access wisdom from the throne to do well in all things. Balance. Praying in tongues and you are not doing anything about taking care of your family. There are many brothers that are not ready to settle down. Being old in age is not the requirement for settling down. It is the ability to understand the cost implication of life. Hallelujah. So you have to be visionary and focused. Go and get a notebook. There are some of us, get more than a notebook. Get a room. Get a room. Get out of your friend's room and find your room. Trust God for grace. Release your faith. Gather some money and get a room of your own. Where will I get my trust? Start with a bed sheet on the ground. Learn the honor of diligence. All this waiting for a job to bail you out is the thing that sponsors carelessness. The power of God is released when you get out. Get out! There are young people that should pack out of their parents' house this year. And there are parents that should call the young people and say, Look, um, I had the message apostle preached. And I love you with all my heart. I love you too much to leave you in this house. Go. Ah, Daddy, what if I die? Go and die there. Go. I'm, I'm, jo I'm, I'm serious. I'm not joking. Then certain levels of decorum will come. 
Then once it is seven, you will go back home. You are learning to be a good father. It's because there is a friend whose room you are staying and they are cooking for you. That's why you can return back home 11 o'clock with no reason. You are, that is already an atmosphere for unfaithfulness. You have a room, you learn maintenance, you can lock your room. The day you forget and they steal your rechargeable, you have learned. You have learned responsibility through the things you have suffered. And that is a good lesson because now it will help you to be serious. There are too many children, old children, believing that just because age is going, they are wise. We have to sit down. Say, I will be focused in the name of Jesus. So be visionary, be focused. You are a pastor, settle down. What has God called me to do? Not I'm an apostle today, I'm an evangelist tomorrow. I think briefly prophetic came on me. What, what are you to the body? Settle down. You are a businessman. What do you do? I do everything. No, sir, you will fail. Be focused. Be focused. Get a clear direction for your life. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. You can't do everything. Ladies, calm down. Settle down. This is the direction my life is taking. Oh, I'm going to be serious. Oh, this is what I'm going to do with my life. I'm a graduate now. I've not, am I working or am I doing business? Or am I doing both? Okay, what am I doing? I need to be focused. I need to buy a book and be serious. Oh, I notice that every time money comes, I waste it with friends. We don't drink, we don't smoke, but we waste money. It's still sin. Are we together? Right now, when money comes, I notice I'm a worker in Koinonia. Instead of wasting money, let me buy one suit. And now start looking like a gentleman. The day your glory comes, you don't have the attire for it. Number seven. In this year, 2018, spend time building your spirit man and your mind. Spend time, invest, in fact, that's really the word. Invest time building your spirit man and your mind. Buy clothes, look good. But brothers and sisters, only buy clothes and look good when your spirit is alive and your mind is alive. Packaging without content should live your life this year. All this spending hilarious money to buy things and prove things that are not in your spirit and not in your mind. Make sure that a life, a fake life, leaves you this year. Build your spirit, man. As a woman, build your spirit, man. As a man, build your spirit, man. Through prayers, the study of the word, and relevant materials. Let me tell you where many of us have stopped. Prayers and Bible. Bible is not the word. It contains the word. There are other materials that contain the word explained to be relevant to your future. Don't just carry a Bible and read any part of it and think you are growing. No. You need books that explain things to you. Get books. Get videos. Some of you may need to budget for a laptop this year. You don't have a television yet. Budget for a laptop. You can sell two or three of your shoes and buy a laptop. Shoes that don't bring anything. Let's, let's be serious. Invest in your spirit. Let me tell you what will happen. Many people who are used to packaging will laugh at you. But I guarantee you, your spirit and your mind like power twins will return everything you are paying for now. A thousand times. Number what? Number eight. Pay attention to your health and your physical well-being. Please write it down. When God gave me this word, I repented a thousand times before God, before even jotting it down. Pay attention to your health and your physical well-being. You can't pay attention to your spirit. Pay attention to your mind. And the body that will keep them here, you are careless with it. That means you are ready to exit. So pay attention to your health. Paying attention to your health is not buying hilariously expensive creams that are beyond your power. 
now. That's not paying attention to your health. You can start at whatever level you have. You are now. Instead of buying all kinds of things, you can buy fruits, natural things. Correct? Yes. Instead of taking five Coca-Cola in a day, buy carrots, buy apple, watermelon, meet the welfare after the service for any information that can help you on your health. Let's, let's walk as if we want to live long. Exercise. Truly speaking, exercise. God challenged me on these things and I will tell you as he did for me. Exercise. Take advantage of your life, your health. Work on it. Believers are careless with their health. We allow all kinds of sicknesses come. You are feeling sharp pains around your body. I'm a man of faith. But what is wrong with looking at someone and say, oh, there's a sharp pain? No, just to verify, okay, this and that. Oh, we notice, wow. Um, we found out that there's something there. Okay, so this is what the enemy wants to put in my body. Let's work together. But many believers will go on and be talking things that can be managed at infancy. Now later gets to a complicated case and they deny men of God sleep with disturbance because of something that wisdom could manage. Please take your health seriously. You know when you are sick, God gave us brains. You know your body before and during sickness. Something is wrong. Deal with it. Take care of your body. Take care of your health. Number, number nine. Press for financial freedom. Press for financial freedom. Pay attention to the details that will empower you. I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, do not allow anybody trivialize to your life the relevance of of being financially free if it is God you want to serve you want to have time for God your family and your destiny press for financial freedom we have a lot of teachings on that wise that will come this year there already are teachings get financial dominion get the wealthy place other auxiliary teachings success systems the gift of men activating seasons of favor activating seasons of breakthrough settle down with it I understand the media is working on a dedicated web page to arrange some of the sermons topically so that it's easy. They make it easy. If you are looking for topics on finances, there are all the messages there so you can download them. Believers, poverty will distract us from living a fruitful life. I repeat, poverty will distract us. Lack will distract us living from hand to mouth will never allow us grow spiritually and live a life of health and soundness depression is eating up christians tongue-talking christians because they have to worry about where tea and bread will come from by the grace of god god has empowered us as leaders in this ministry with enough intelligence to be able to contribute and bring supply. I am a balanced man of God. I don't believe in people getting anointed and healing the sick and remaining poor. Why choose when everything is, the, is in the same table? It is the life of God. Please and please, especially our dear brothers, let us trust God to press towards financial freedom. Don't say I'm too young. Don't say God will make a way. Just like a callous, irresponsible statement. Let's settle down and trust God to work our salvation, financially speaking, in fear and trembling. You don't work out your finances by hustling. This is the year when hustlers will pay for it. Doing everything in the strength of the flesh. No, thou shalt hear a voice from behind. The secret to financial prosperity is not business. I've told you. The secret to financial prosperity is not a job. The secret to financial prosperity is understanding. Understanding. That is the first thing you seek. Understanding first. Getting a job and doing business is giving your understanding a physical expression to now deliver the result. 
There are many people doing business, getting jobs with no understanding. We live in an economy that many of us do not understand God's financial system and we are paying for it dearly. Please press for financial freedom this year. Start with the teachings. Listen to them again and again. The work has been done for many of us. If you pay attention to Koinonia's teachings on finances, if that's the only thing you study alone, I guarantee you, you'll be successful. Number 10. Walk in love and be at peace with all men. Walk in love and be at peace with all men. Brothers and sisters, this is the year when all black books must be torn into pieces. Say amen. amen. The, the books that we have allowed the devil to give us, all this compendium of enemies, all this attitude of cynicism, love and peace is therapeutic. This should be the year for in intentional reconciliation it will be costly to spend your life and your time being at loggerheads with people be having love and peace will require you learning how to speak to men with honor there are many auxiliary additions to it it does not mean that you just live in love and peace there are some of us your current mindset does not have provision for peace because the way you communicate is pungent and destructive we must learn to culture our words through understanding. It is part of the press for living a life, walking in love and peace with all men. Don't look down on anybody. Don't criticize anybody and say, your father is this, you people are poor, you people are rich. You are this tribe, you are that tribe. Uh -uh. I am your senior in secondary school, you are my junior. In... Have mutual respect one for another. Don't be the one receiving all the respect and having people bowing to you and you're not reciprocating. Living in love and peace will require you learning people's skills. Understanding the psychological composition of living with people. Don't run somebody down and tear somebody down and think it does not matter. You look at a lady and insult her, lambast her from head to toe and then expect that she would not be at loggerheads. Jealousy, what of gossiping, hopping from place to place to talk about people, bringing into your discussion matters of people that are not your concern. All these things must be well edited this year so that we can live in love and peace. And then mark people, mark their areas of vulnerability and create a system to relate with them without being harmed by their vulnerability. There are people who will never stop gossiping. So you learn when best to see them. Greet them in church. Don't go to their house. Because it's obvious that going to their house is going to create a platform for gossiping. Let the meeting place be church and church alone. Are we together? Finally, love the body of Christ. The last instruction I will give you for this year. Genuinely love the body of Christ. Never criticize never castigate any man of god never castigate any ministry don't join bloggers to tear down men of god doesn't mean that men of god and ministries are perfect we all are not perfect but then you cannot sow that seed of being the one to be destroying a man's destiny and a man's church a man's ministry whether it was your former church your present church your former pastor your present pastor koinonia any church a church in nigeria a church in diaspora it doesn't matter where always see the light in the church in spite of the weakness of the body christ is still in the midst of her let this be the year there is a sin that many believers are committing it's called the sin of fighting against the body if nobody has told you it's sin i want you to know that it is sin fighting the body of christ through ill-spoken words fighting a man's church fighting a man's whatever getting down intentionally to destroy the work of god because of poor and pungent communications is sin and it's a very strange kind of sin 
because it brings almost instant consequences. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. And for this cause, many do sleep. What is their sin? Not discerning the body. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, God has announced to us that this is a year of signs and wonders. I believe it. And I know that you believe it. And we are going to pray and speak this into our lives. There are many developments that have happened in the ministry. I'm going to be announcing them shortly. But then I want us to rise up on our feet now. And we are going to pray this prophetic word into our lives. You have heard the word. You have heard the instructions that have come from the word. I want you to open your notebook. I'm going to give you five minutes. Open your notebook and pray these 11 instructions into your life. Forget about the signs and wonders. It will be the result of this. Open the notebooks one by one and look at it and cry to the God of heaven. Go ahead and pray. Pray it. Pray it into your life. Pray it into your life. Don't be silent, brothers and sisters. Pray it into your life. I receive grace to love and seek the Lord. Shabakato bakarato sadabaliakata. Intimacy. Intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. I receive grace for intimacy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. Pray those 11 things into your heart. Be childlike enough and pray them. And watch the God of heaven arise for you. You have five minutes, prophesy them into your life. Lord, I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I decree and declare that this year I am visionary. I am focused. I am visionary. I am focused. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I spend time building my spirit man. Go ahead and pray. I spend time building my mind. I pay attention to my health. I pay attention to my physical well-being. I shall not die. I live long. And I do the things that make for long life. In the name of Jesus, I pay attention to my health. I press for financial freedom. I reject poverty. I reject lack. I reject financial weakness. In the name of Jesus, God has made all grace abound to me so that I, having all sufficiency in all things, that I am bound unto all good works. In the name of Jesus, I decree. The Bible says, declare that he might be justified. Declare it in prayer. I walk in love. I'm at peace with all men. No enmity, no jealousy, no backbiting, no tearing down another. In the name of Jesus, this is the year when my life will lift everyone up. This is the year when my words will lift everyone up. No destroying the destinies of men. I love the body of Christ in the name of Jesus I love the body of Christ I am part of the body of Christ I honor the body of Christ you to declare and say father no battle this year 
will bring me down to the ground. Lift your voice and declare. Victorious all through from January to December. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My life becomes a sign and a wonder. No weapon fashioned against me will prosper. No tongue rising up against me will succeed. When men say there is a casting down, my declaration is that there is a lifting up. Pray. No defeat, no defeat, victorious by the blood of Jesus. No defeat, no defeat, no defeat, no defeat. My year of signs and wonders, no defeat in any area of life. In the name of Jesus, no defeat. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points very quickly. Hallelujah. I like us as a family to pray for one sign to start up the year. Lord, strange favor. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, let that be the sign. We agree with you, O oh God, as a ministry. Give us the sign. The first sign for the year. Undeniable favor. Favor with men. Favor with systems. Favor with institutions. Favor with governmental personalities. Let favor bring us revelations from the realm of the spirit. Let favor bring us strange dimensions of influence. Let it be a sign and a token, oh God, that will follow every one Koinonia member all through this year. We declare favor. We prophesy favor. We release favor. We declare favor. We prophesy favor. We release favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. That the God of suddenlies that arises overnight listen i want us to pray for a quick walk not just favor lord arise a quick walk in the lives of people lift your voice and pray god of suddenlies god of suddenlies he says suddenly there was a sound suddenly an emergence suddenly a job suddenly an admission sudden marriage sudden children Sudden lifting, sudden anointing. Lord, compress time. Compress time. Give your people speed. We invoke you, the God of suddenness. Arise, O oh God. In this year of signs and wonders, let it not be according to time. Let it be according to your power. Let it not be according to time. Let it be according to your power. Come on, invoke the God of the suddenness. Arise for me, O God. My helper, Ebenezer, arise. Wipe the tears of those that cry. Silence the lips of mockers. Suddenly, let the lifting come. It's called a year of signs and wonders. Lord, defy the laws of nature. Defy the laws of nature. Arise for people. Change their levels spiritually. Change their levels financially. Don't be tired. We are praying. Restore honor to your people. Restore glory to your people. Oh God, I cry to you. Arise.
someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Saleh. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. Please, ushers, position yourself inside and outside. Because there will be a rain in this place. set free. Where did you come from? Please, let me catch on here. Where did you come from? Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Definitely. You came full of faith. The Lord will set you free right now. Jesus, that devil, come out of him right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out, breathe in and out, I set you free right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, now listen, listen, please, I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we will end quickly. Heart conditions. Leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly, appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers, coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please, come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up, line up, straight line. Line up, ushers, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wave bye bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check. If you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition, don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe. Sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me. Because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go, 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 go. You are a devil of darkness. Come out, come out, come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus, out of her. Come, my sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing. As hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. You, are you listening to me? 
there is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go, go, go. Go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John Capitalist, Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to, as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Right, right. devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness, go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Made whole right now. Be made whole. Oh, God is not done with you. God is not done with you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set free right now from every oppression. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. 
Go! Go! Let the fire fall! Bring them in! Bring them in! The fire fall all across the building! Outside! All across! Fire is falling! Those outside! One more time! Those outside shout Jesus! over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same room. Look at me. We've not finished so. We've not finished. If it's possible. If it's possible. The ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him. 
Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at, he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Dana. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised, looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now, come out of her. Come out of her, you're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She lay down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at you. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For and the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Have mama, her can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? Yes. What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was this December last year. December. Uh, you see, you always, you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. Back, I'm just I telling just you that. You did what? I saw on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, Mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You found yourself sitting on the I ground. Know that I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. And, okay, come, you are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taking to just to this that it's not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I leg right now is not moving. No, it's not. What of your right hand? The what right is wrong with it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and no, the case of the bleeding is different from, I was taken to just to, that it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so saying. That it was not stroke, that it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, I told them, the doctor, that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to for prayer in Nosarawa State. So the, the following day in, in the prayer house. It's I time for I you to go. Go, 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 go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus. That devil. 
out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus, fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Sorry, Mama. So I moved my legs. So I went. From okay, there what, what, I is, went what, to okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what is now, it wrong with you right the now? The cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yeah, bleeding. Then. Your hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fed and slept. So I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So. Okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. Amen. I'll pray for you. Thank you. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. that devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. If you feel pain, yes. where? The fingers. When you want to lift it up, in your fingers. Every pain go. I command it to go. You are of the spirit of darkness. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pains? You feel pains where? Your shoulder. By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I curse that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. You cough all the time. You cough out blood. Please hurry up. You cough out blood. Literally. Who is the person? Inside. Are they hearing me outside? Quickly. If you identify that person, let the person come. You cough out blood. Literally. Come out. clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Not only this lady, 
but the members of her family have been oppressed. Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free, totally, now, in the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right there. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry, to end. Bring them out. 
I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. 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 Go, go, out of her, come out of her now, come out of her now, come out of her now, fire upon you, fire upon you, fire upon you, as you touch me, you touch fire, as you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit, he make it is out of her now, out, 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 out. She's free. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire. In the name of Jesus, come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person now. 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 Stand up, madam. <laughs> Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar. And Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense it. Please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. 
I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata takapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiama. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 You can't stand it. Go. 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 I prophesy to you today. After today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Amen. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go. Bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Up your heads, O oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors. And the King of Glory will come. In Jesus' name. You're free. Come, Mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands. Interpreter Selena, where is she? Where is she? Tell her Jesus, okay, okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama, Jesus will heal you. 
Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. Yes. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire right now. My father locates those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are actively possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down. When he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer. You do because he's going to go. Oh, yes, he will go. Hmm? Pray your hands. Hey, the next week is looking like a healing week. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness is not cancer, it's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son as eternal life. Hallelujah. talking about some. Bring the man in the wheelchair or on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll big room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. They did surgery and it's not working. You want to walk? You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without, you think? Are you feeling pain? Where? What of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this for me. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. 
They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal be born with bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This metal Amen. Melt away. Ministers move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor Sir, yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name, be set free. Leave my love. Vivian. Hello? What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap. So we're doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth. And shame the devil. How many? You are who? Again, you used to drink. Have you stopped? Completely. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. School didn't work. Many things happened. Even YX, you don't even have your complete results. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? Right. God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants it to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. Oh. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Bumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your family, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. 
Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brendo kapriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele kepariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire. 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 Be set free. Right now in the name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus. Lawful captives be free. I release you. That devil of temper and anger. Go. Go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go. 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 I, come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. again come I stopped praying for you for a reason please take this guy up this gentleman look at me see come here do you know that your life listen listen I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain didn't know what it was. It was lying down here. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon him. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. As the sun, as the time, my dear, come and stand here. Yes, come and stand here. Birthday girl, you are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray, oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you, these people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please, please move around. Where are the people I called out? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. You know, you are moving, but you are not accomplishing much. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free. of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I see you. In the realm of the spirit, the Lord said, look at you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't, please, keep any man who wants to come and talk drama around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. 
this thing come to me. The Lord is speaking with me. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from the realm. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we are in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time to see three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says as she said. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot decide. But look at them. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage only to kill somebody. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says, restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If fine. If fine. Bearing the name, if fine. If fine. Who is if fine? Ephine. Now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them forth. Quickly. We have to round up. Quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person. Sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, area of your life. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? Both of them. Bring them here. He has what? His size. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silver? Does he bring? Who is your friend that brings? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and see what he's doing. Alright? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Who is Tiffany? Silvani, from where? From where? Eh? I A U. Hi, 
time you go. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you only do ministry the way you are planning. So it starts at fresh with God. Right? So you disable all those man of God things. So you start at fresh with them. Like one, two, three, four, five. God will bless you. Right? And then it's okay. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man. So the restraint is full of the spirit. You know, those teachings that people jump and thrive over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon me. Right now. New beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out. As deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. Pour the prayer request. And you will be a mighty tool in the hands of God. Huh? Mighty tool. But he will first set you free. Then he will begin a work with you. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what he will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where's the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. You know? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. over your life. Take over her life. Now foul spirit. Let her go. And Lord, anoint her and use her. Perfect my life. Breathe on me. I saw the sun rising over your family. And then I heard this song. I will wait for you. Jesus. You're the sun in my The days of oppression are over. You are standing on behalf of your family. Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today, the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you, I see her face. And the Lord says, I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father. For the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay. The 
ministers are still okay. Those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just if the ministers are ministering, let them continue. But those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. Stretch your hands. Shaba la barado krasta brada bala. Rateka te brada gede bala de bash. Paroka prande prade shida. Do miracles, oh God. Mareka da bala da 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter. Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Created miracles in the name of Jesus. All oh, supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay, I command you, be opened in the name of us. Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. 
every academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete latu zabadi adaka. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural joy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open, every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members, make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up, a new level of prosperity, a new level of lifting, a new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS, AS, we change your genotype. 
in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing cut up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate. And the Lord is telling me, let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you. By the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me. Move forward. Go forward. No more stagnation. In ministry. Enter your place of anointing. Enter your place of rest. Enter it. I place you inside it. I take you into the mantle of your life. The prophetic oil of your life. I release it. forward. Go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you. Every Egyptian you see today, you are the one who knows the Egyptian. So lift your hands with faith in your spirit. Everything called an Egyptian, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, once and for all, bye-bye to them forever. Bye bye to them forever. In your family, bye bye to them. Bye bye to them. I release signs, wonders. I release miracles. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. From the depth of my heart, according to the order of grace, we take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Touches from today. In the name that is above all names, I command it to multiply. My brother, stand here. Bring this lady, come. This is what I'm demonstrating to you, what I saw in the spirit. That God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift, I command demand upon your oil. Demand, prophetic demand. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days, I command angels of help. I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. 
I tell you, as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces, leadership, entrepreneurship, I fire it into your spirit. deserted so that no man goes to you I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the Lord Jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it, breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it, breakthrough. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. The Lord gives you a new name. Whatever you came here for, whatever request you brought, I command go back with a testimony. Go back with a complete testimony. Whatever you came here with, go back with a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing, go back with that fire. Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater. Receive it. Receive it. Now, listen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Listen to me, everybody. Inside and outside. You're here and you've been struggling with your life. The Lord has been speaking to you. You know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. 
Jesus is saying, how long will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace. Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right with the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick. Do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You are welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to lead you to Jesus now. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven. And say after me, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus. I come before you. Acknowledging you as my savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today. I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus, I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today, forward ever, backward never. The things I used to do, I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord of my life. Father, I commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision. Because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. And I pray that from today, you begin a work in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to this one. This is the assignment you have given on her life. I pray that you do great things in her life. In the name of Jesus. My brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life. And even in your family. For this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus. Appreciate them in Jesus' name. Now, in one minute, I'd like you to follow the elder. I said the elders. Follow the ushers. Hallelujah. And they will be able to have your details and will follow you up. When, sir? Date. Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. on the dot. Please be at chapel. Pastor Jets will be following you up. We'll have foundational teachings that will bring, to guide you, and we'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. The small ones, please. The very young ones. 
you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right? So that you are not going around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers of your time, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building on the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it. It will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out, out. You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. All right, your time is up. Go now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. receive a visitation from the Lord for you would have come back with the same problems you carried and brought here but the Lord has visited each of you in Jesus name <laughs> hallelujah and for every one of you don't you think we are praying when we are praying for you we truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience that the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, you broke it. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord connect you to destiny partners. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details. 
and we pray for you and follow you up. You are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as you do that. Let's take the following announcement very quickly and we're out of here. First Bio Congress Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagle Springs, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry, and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you are coming for koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you, and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering, but we'll drop the envelope. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan, and the missions is directed by Dicks. Hallelujah. It's a good one. So I want you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, you just drop the envelope, you have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seed here, and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are fruitful with every money that comes, and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our missions, oh God. As we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields, and we supply welfare to many people, my God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heaven. We dedicate this. It will only be used for the glory of the King. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leading you the, en the envelopes, don't go with them, please. You will just come and we place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation, Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28 February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code, strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our School of Ministry. The closing date for the submission of the form for ENI School of Ministry is next week, Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week, Friday, will be closing for all the prospective students. And now, the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you are, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, Bishop? By the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We 
granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he will be around. Please wait and follow him. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.